So, you like mangoes? That's it. You like mangoes? Me too. That's pretty cool, dude. Hey guys, I'm Bethesda by Kaim Kind. Today we're back once again taking a look at how to create this little text, like okay, chrome looking effect. Um, this looks really cool. It's really, really, really easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is we're going to do the same thing we always do. Drag a box over top of the uh, default cube and the lamp. Hit delete. There we go on your keyboard. Um, left click to select the camera. Hit Alt G to clear the location and Alt R to clear the rotation. Then hit R X and then on your numpad hit 9 0 and hit enter to confirm that. Now hit G and Y to move the camera backwards like that and hit 0 to go into the camera's view. Now hit Shift A and we'll, we'll search for a um, text object right there. Boom. And hit, then hit R X 90 once again to rotate, rotate that 90 degrees on the X axis. Hit enter to confirm that and we're ready to go. Now um, I'm going to go to the text tab here on the right hand side and change this from horizontal to center and then change uh, this open this little font section right here. This will hit this little folder icon. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and search for a font that we want to use. I'm going to keep it super simple for this. Uh, I'm going to make it make sure that it's a, a thicker font. Um, so we're going to do something super, super basic as long as it has some kind of like girth to it and it's not like super skinny. I mean, it could, it could be super skinny, honestly, but um, we'll just just pick anything. Just just pick. Okay, well, there we go. We'll just do Arial. <laughs> Why not? Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit tab to edit this text and then make it all capital like that. There we go. I'm also going to go down to the vertical and change this to center horizontal alignment as well. Hit S to scale this text up. Move it around a little bit. Hit GZ to move it on the Z axis. GZ. Uh, GX to move it back and forth, and uh, GY to move it forward and back like that. There you go. Woo, 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 woo. All right, nice. Um, so with that done, the next step we need to do is go, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the the world tab here and change the color from gray all the way down to black. Now, if we go ahead and turn on the rendered viewport shading, you can see it'll be solid. It'll be so. It'll be so, It'll be solid black. There we go. Nice. Um, we can't see anything. So let's go ahead and go back to the solid viewport shading. Hit Shift A, and we'll search for a light area. Now, with this, you can see it, it creates a little cube, or not cube, but a little square. I'm going to rotate this um, by hitting RX90, hit enter, and then hit GY to move it up a little bit. And I, as just a little tiny bit, though. As you can see now, the lamp is like facing the text. If we go to the render viewport shading, you can see this is what it looks like. It's creating, oops, it's creating this little light here. But I, I don't want it to be this tall. So what we're going to do is hit S to scale it, and then Z to scale it only like up and down wise. So like make it like super super flat um, then, hit, then hit SX and make it as long as um, the word text so there we go something like that looks pretty decent to me now because um, this text because it's a, it's not directly up on the text it's kind of like you know having a soft gradient up and down so if it G uh, G, G, Z, you can see I can move it up and down like here and here. So the closer we put this to the text, the sharper the light will get. So hit G, Y, and then hold down shift. So hit G, Y, hold down shift. And you can see the closer we move this to it, the harder that the light becomes. So let's move it to about maybe something, something about right there, maybe somewhere like, like there. So it's like soft, it's a softer gradient. Then hit uh, shift D to duplicate this. Then hit Z and move it straight on up like that, right about there. About halfway, halfway up. There we go. So hit, then we can do the same thing again. So hit G, Y, hold down shift, and then move it in a little bit. Now you can see we pan back here and take a look at this. It looks like oops, it looks like a um, chrome text effect, which is really pretty cool. But we need one more light because it's still kind of dark. So let's go ahead. Actually, I moved that up a little bit. Actually, oops, no, not that, not that. Okay, grab the second lamp. There we go. Move that like that. We'll move, maybe move both of these back a little bit, just by a little bit, something like that. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna grab both of these. That's what we're gonna do instead. We'll grab both these, hold down shift, select mo multiple things, or you can do it up here as well. Grab the area lamp and hold down shift, left, cl left click that one as well. Then hit G, Y, and hold down shift to move it uh, very slowly, and then pull it backwards a little bit. Pull it backwards, you know, not forward, pull it backwards a little bit. So it's a little, a little softer of a transition instead of like super hard like that, a little softer. Uh -huh. All right, there we go. And then this is good. Nice. Cool, 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 cool. So um, that is... Oops. That's pretty much what I want to do here. I want to make maybe the second one on the bottom a little brighter. Maybe something like that. Maybe make it 20 power instead of 10. I'll also go ahead and turn shadow off of both of these just because uh, we don't want that getting in the way if you have other things in this, in the uh, the scene or whatnot. Just it, it might look a little weird. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's that. I think the last thing that I want to do here is I do want to um, potentially create a 
the third light and maybe give this one a little bit of color. So hit Shift D, duplicate the uh, top one, hit uh, hit uh, Z to move it straight up like that. I'm gonna maybe make this one a little a little bluish, like that. Maybe we can do a little bit of bluish on this one on these ones as well. Slightly blue tinted, like that. That looks cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Okay, cool. That looks pretty sweet. Now the one on the top here. Um, I don't want to make it too bright. We'll leave it on 10, actually. Yeah, we'll leave it on 10. That's good. Yeah, 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 I like that. Okay, cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So now, when we take a look at this, if we turn our overlays off so the, um, lamps aren't in the way, you can see it looks, uh, something like, uh, something like this, which looks really, really cool. Really nice chrome effect. Um, it's, it's really simple to do. It's really easy to do. As I said, that's literally all, that's literally all that there is. <laughs> that's, that's literally it. And if you were to go ahead and, like, extrude the text out, obviously you would have to pull the lamps back or pull the, oops. Or pull the text itself back like that, but um, but yeah. So that's uh, that's literally that's that's literally how easy it is to do it uh, an, an effect like this, which I just think is one of the coolest things, um, because it just looks really really sweet. So hope you enjoyed it. That's it. Like I said, you can go ahead and grab all these lamps, maybe rotate them so hit R Y and move them on the Y axis, and maybe make it a little slanted like that. You know. Who knows what you can do? You can do so many cool things. I love this effect. Um, it's very, very simple to do. Like I said, very, very sweet, simple thing to do. So I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.